Agriculture and technology come hand in hand these days. Our Taylor Archer went to the strawberry patch in Monticello to see how the latest technology can be used to study crop health. Central Lakes College has been hosting a number of field days across Minnesota to demonstrate the latest farming technology. These devices can be used to supervise fields and land more efficiently for farmers and are equipped with infrared sensors to check crop health. We're actually using the craft for um, crop as a tool. Okay. We're trying to detect uh, nutrient deficiencies or insect or, or pest problems in general and basically just more efficient detection of, of issues or problems in the field. I'm trying to do some education on, um, on these new technologies because especially berry growers in the upper Midwest are uh, way behind the curve in, as far as uh, looking at uh, remote sensing and, uh, and IR photography. Today's field day was catered to strawberry and blueberry farmers of the area, though the technology Canada can be used for other growth as well. We need to figure out how we're going to use the technology for farms like this. We have about 50 very intelligent people here and I want to introduce the technology to them so that they can decide if they can use it for their own operations. The demonstration will not only educate farmers, but will also help open the window to the endless opportunities in agriculture. Many people have the image of a man and the woman that stand with the fork in their hand, and that's what a farmer is. It's an old tractor that puts along, and farming has moved so far beyond that. Drones and other forms of farming technology will only improve with time and might even be used for other reasons. There's a 65-year-old gentleman who asked if he could check his cattle from his living room couch. In Monticello, Taylor Archer, Lakeland News. The instructors from today's event all agreed that this technology has brought more of a positive reaction from farmers than a negative one. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.